Today's episode is brought to you by Audible.com. Go over and get you a free audiobook, 30-day free trial over at www.audibletrial.com slash nerdcave. You can be getting, picking up Timothy Zahn's new book, Thrawn. It's freaking awesome. Or you can get Ahsoka. You can get all these Star Wars books because everybody loves Star Wars. If you don't love Star Wars, what are you doing with your life? There's over 180,000 titles, though, to choose from. You can get it on your iPhone, your Android, your Kindle. And if you have an MP3 player and what are you doing with your life, you can get that there as well. So go over to audibletrial.com slash nerdcave and grab you one of those new books. Get smart. We read at the Nerd Cave. We read. Build it beautiful. E3 2017, continuing with the Ubisoft trend. Ubisoft press conference date and time has been announced. Ubisoft has confirmed the time, the date of its E3 press conference, falling in line with the company's previous yearly plans at the Expo. The E3 2017 Ubisoft conference will be held in the Blah 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 Theater at June 12th at 1 p.m. And you can give all the rundown with that. And that's um, Pacific time, by the way. Ubisoft has not announced the full lineup of games expected to the show, but earlier today, a tease for the uh, next Assassin's Creed indicated it will be shown off during the annual electronic Obviously. expo. Obviously. Expo, hmm. expo. We know. Yeah. So, there you go, guys, for that. Um, speaking of E3, while we're on E3, Might as well. we're going to be covering E3 in depth. We're going to do a prediction for each one of the conferences before the conference happens. Predictions and what we're, what we're looking forward to. Yeah. Um, so, for, and this is going to start on June the 10th, and Saturday, EA's conference is at 2, so our predictions will be at 1. one. And then after the show, we will do a kind of roundup, you know, oh, this happened, you know, what did you think about this kind of deal. So each of the conference will have an hour before and more than likely an hour after, um, and we'll figure out what we're going to do in between if we're going to, like, talk over it or what. Yeah. So uh, June 11th will follow with Microsoft at 4 and Bethesda at 9, and then June 12th, which is Monday. Ubisoft will be at 3. We just mentioned that. And Sony will be at 8. And then June 13th, which is the Tuesday, Nintendo will have their part of their conference at 11. They're not really having a conference. They're having a Nintendo Spotlight Ooh. with a treehouse thing afterwards. So uh, we're going to be covering that. I'll be putting off all the information for you to see. But I just wanted to let you know that's what we're doing for E3 2017. Also, we got some uh, big news coming up for... Next Saturday, let me pull up the information. This coming up Saturday. This coming up this, Saturday. As, like, as you're watching this on Friday or Thursday, because this is like the end of the show. We close to the end of the show. have been around for almost four years now. Well, actually, four years now. Yeah, we've officially. already, hit, we've already we, hit that. We've yeah. already hit the four years. Uh, so we will be doing a live stream from 12 p.m. to 8.30 p.m., and that is Central Standard Time, because yeah. we always need to, to clarify. So be sure to join us May 27th. We'll be... Uh, I mean, I'll be making not a dessert this time. Oh, yeah, for cooking with Robbie. Mm -hmm. I'll be doing a little bit of that. We'll be playing games. I know we we have Injustice. Might do some, you know, different things here and there. Mario Kart, you know, we're, we're going to do some community-based stuff um, as well as since all three of us are going to be here, I figured the month's AMA could be Ask Us, us. Anything yeah. since all three of us will be there. You're going to be buying your own Mario Kart, right? Yeah, I am. Okay. You ain't gonna have mine. I'm gonna take hers. I'm gonna uh, oh it. no, you're not. I'm taking that down all the Break it. I'm gonna break, break it. Break it and take it. Break it. You owe me what is it, like sixty dollars? No, I owe you nothing. He break you next. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. So yeah. <laughs> Plan to hang out with us on Saturday, May twenty seventh. It's gonna be an awesome time. Yeah, you'll be seeing us sharing the uh, mess out of it. So go ahead and click that you're interested and or that you're you're going or that you're just don't want to hang out with us and you want to be one of those weird people. Yeah, and it's going to be everywhere. YouTube, both YouTubes, since we're going to be doing gaming and other things, all over on Twitch, over on Facebook. Facebook. And if you really want, we can throw it over on Periscope as well, if you want that. Uh, so that's all of our coverage. You know, we're going to be doing that Saturday, May 27th, and then starting June 10th, we're going to be doing E3. We've got a lot of stuff planned for the next few weeks. I'm really hoping I see some Jason Derulo at E3. Yeah. I'm sure there's going to be some stuff. <laughs> uh, that was seriously, it's probably the worst thing I've ever seen at E3. 
the dancing like giraffes and everything. God, it was so bad. We have one last article. There's a new Life is Strange game on the way. Original achieves 3 million unique players. Uh, developer Don't Nod announced today the development is already underway on the new Life is Strange. You can check out the video if you want to. You can check out this article um, from the creative team below where they un reveal that Life is Strange recently achieved achieved 3 million unique players and the new Life is Strange is on the way. Curiously, the team does not specifically say Life is Strange 2 or call it a sequel. The studio is also working on a new RPG called Vampire which is going to be awesome. If you haven't seen Vampire it is so cool. Like you, you're playing as a doctor that's a vampire and like you can either like kill people and like get stronger or like there's like a good and bad like or you can just feed on people. It's going to be freaking awesome. Hmm. But life is strange. Oh, oh no, God. no, stop. We've lived through this once. We don't want to do it again. <sighs> See, I'm almost scared to like stream our like moment to moment. <laughs> uh, be like, what is this? <laughs> reactions. Because we all understand my uh, loathing of the Ubisoft conferences. I, I don't mind her anymore. Like, I like her in Archer, and I like her on Who's Line. And I like her stand-up, and I like her podcast. She's not a big fan of Girlwood. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. Uh, but, yeah, there's Vampire right there um, with a Y. Um, it looks freaking great. And if you have not played Life is Strange, I think it was my 2015 game of the year. Um, it was phenomenal. It's very enjoyable. Yeah, it's absolutely really good. phenomenal. Okay, I have to know uh, which ending did you pick? Spoilers, I guess. I, I saved her. We've already been through this. We have. I forgot about that. Yes, you were like ticked off at me that I saved her. I was, because I, I did not save her. Yeah, I saved her. I didn't beat it. You ah! suck. I quit game you sharing. Suck! I, I quit you game suck! sharing with you the suck! guy who had it. Like when I was on like the last few chapters of it. And I was like, now I just gotta buy it. Like, for me, it was one of those things where it's like, I liked Chloe, but a lot of the time, or was it Chloe? <laughs> um, She's a troublemaker. Yeah, you know, like, she had issues. I'm like, but it was just that. Get a tissue. No. <laughs> she was chasing her bliss. She was chasing her bliss. Um, <laughs> I just, Bye, guys. Yeah. You can't judge her life. No, no, it, it wasn't the judging her life. I was just like, there are so many other people's lives at stake. Like, I'm sorry, Chloe, but you've been, like, Final Destinationing this game the entire time. You gotta go. Yeah, I gotta Also, I totally that. called the ending from, like, episode one. Yeah. Well, <laughs> when you see the reverse where you save the dad, like, that was heart-wrenching. Oh, God, that was so That was so heart-wrenching. But, like, again, it was one of those things, like, it, like, affirmed my mind. Where it's like, yes, this is really sad that, you know, you're gonna have to sacrifice, like, your best friend, but she was meant to die, like early on like it's sad but clearly like that's the route she was supposed to be taking otherwise everyone else you're always die. saving her butt from something yeah. well guess what i put friends before everyone else well she had other friends like i put friends before everyone else um, if you're like, not a friend who, who you're gonna die <laughs> he's a biffle he's the, a biffle um, for life the really catholic best, girl? best friends for life oh well, she's, she's <laughs> the really catholic suicidal girl yes uh it's not is that that's not victoria that's the no victoria is the prep yeah, I can't remember. I have her face in my, yeah, in my I, mind. I, I have her face in my that, mind. That, oh, that was also like really That's sad, so just like weird. being up on the roof. Oh, yeah. Did like you save her? Oh, yeah, of course. Okay, I didn't know if you you, you were able to save her. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, I if saved you don't, her if you don't well. do it right, then you can't. I think that happened to my friend. She was like, I didn't save her. And I was like, you heartless person. <laughs> So there you got it, guys. There you go. <laughs> there you there got you it, got guys. It. Life is strange. You go play it. Uh, if yeah. you haven't, if it's already spoiled for you, well, you know how to get to the end. Still play it. Yeah, still play it. <laughs> you can go over to patreon.com slash nerdcave. Go support us right there. Toss us a few dollars, just like Caleb Palmer and Nick Caputo did. Shout out to both of those guys. Caleb, our Patreon support, uh, Patreon producer. Producer slash seducer, as I'd like to call Oh, man. It. Also, guys... Be sure to go find us on social media. We're everywhere. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, you know, Nerd Cave Vids, or just Nerd Cave. We, uh, our Facebook page is actually growing a lot. We're having more and more people like it. So that's where you get more of the information side of what we're doing. We'll, we'll post, you know, funny stuff here and there. Yeah, but live streams, everything yeah, goes through that. The, the heart of the Nerd Cave is the Facebook group. 
that is where we sit down and we we were able to talk to everybody. Like, and it's not just us talking. We're having it's the community. We're having our you know community, our friends, our family, everybody's you know posting about you know the big thing that happened on Arrow, or they're talking about you know this, or the, you know I'm reading this comic, I'm playing this game. Who's playing Injustice? Come fight me. So, Come at me, bro. Yeah, just join up and talk with us. It's fun. Yeah. All of that's there. Um, check it out. It's a lot of fun. Um, I actually even played with one of the people that watches my live streams all the time. I, nice. It was his birthday this past Thursday, so we got he got Injustice, I had Injustice, and we played. Uh, needless to say, I gave him a butt whoop for his birthday. <laughs> Thanks, Jacob. Who, it was awesome. Who do you enjoy playing with? Um, Dr. Fate's really fun. I haven't played as him yet. Blue Beetle is actually really fast. The Flash, I think, is the most overpowered character. That like, makes sense. like one hundred percent overpowered. Playing as Harley, I didn't like her at first. Like the more you play with her, she's actually pretty good. Yeah, like I found out that I was really good because I had to fight uh, Scarecrow, uh, Poison Swamp Ivy. Thing, Poison Ivy, the Joker, mm-hmm. and I was just. Oh like, yeah, the part where you like you uppercut, then you go bam, bam, bam. Yeah, My like move. the. Like, even having just the hyenas, like, in her... Get them, boys! Like, that's such a cool throwback, and mentioning Mad Love and all of that kind of stuff. I'm just, like, that game is hitting it on all cylinders. And, like, you know, your your fans who haven't followed deep, like, like Holly was like, why does she call her Mr. J? I was like, why, why doesn't she call him Puddin'? I was like, well, I was like, Puddin's always been around, but I was like, Mr. J is what, Mr. Yeah. Is what she's... You know, yeah. more prominently known, yeah. what she calls him, and so I mean, just like you said, just the simple nods back to you know older things. Oh yeah, and brother, I like them bringing that in is really really cool. So, um, very good so far. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. Make sure come hang out with us on May twenty seventh. You get to play Injustice with us. That's yeah. going to be fun. You get to play Mario Kart with us. That's going to be awesome. Probably do some Jackbox games. Probably break Allie's Mario Kart on camera. If you break my Mario Kart, I will sue you. <laughs> Just like the man sued his girl for his date. <laughs> he, didn't, she didn't, he didn't get any money from her. Yeah. So be, yeah. don't be afraid. Do it. Yeah. There Trust. you go. You're marrying my sister. She can wreck Do you. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. Well, I have Santa Assassin on my side. It's Santa Assassin. Whatever. I made the cool thumbnail. That's true. If you haven't heard that story, go check out last week's episode. Guys, this has been Zach. And Robbie. Oh, and Allie. There you go. (laughs) Have a week. If you enjoyed that, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you want gaming content, you can go over to Nerd Cave Gaming right there. If you want to support us, you can check out Patreon right there. If you want more videos, check them out right here. Go ahead, pick one of them. I wonder which one you're going to do. You're going to be cool. You pick any of them. All four of them. You'd be awesome.